All right, here it is, folks. The final stage. Versus Death Egg Robot. <laughs> Yeah, and they have it down as a uh, classic Sonic stage, but um, we'll be actually using all three of our characters. Yes. We did it! Eggman's army is officially butt kicked. We won. Hmm. Uh oh. Come on, now what? Can we ever just win and have that be the end of it? Look. I like that robot. Yes. <laughs> a true winner always keeps his trump card hidden until the end. Sonic, what's going on? There aren't less enemies, there's more. What? How can there be so many? Confirmed sightings indicate shadow, metal sonic, lava, chaos, infinite. Thousands of them. What have you done? <laughs> I nearly incorporated the Phantom Ruby into this death egg robot. That means the Phantom Ruby no longer has a vulnerable energy supply. It's an invulnerable ruby? A good deduction, Ted. This Death Egg robot has... No! I have the passion for this to become the complete and ultimate form! You will be crushed by this Death Egg robot powered by the Phantom Ruby, and in the end, everything will still be just as I planned! will end like all your plans do with you sitting in a pile of busted robot parts wondering how you failed so badly <laughs> let's get him and we'll do it again all right <laughs> now like i said in this boss fight we'll be using all three of the characters so first up would actually be classic sonic as it was like kind of you know said in the, you know when you select on the map yeah yeah so I've heard compla people complain about this part, and you know it w is actually familiar to um, a previous boss that you have with um, Classic Sonic, you know, against Egg Dragoon. Yeah. Um, specifically, right here. Yeah. So uh, just keep not. can really mess up your your tennis thing going on here. <laughs> yeah, and you know it's actually funny the uh, the, uh, the feeling I got with the platforms there. He's breaking it apart. Do you know what it kind of reminded me of? Hmm. If you've, I don't know if you played a uh, Shovel Knight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, when you fight the Enchantress, like you know, she breaks the platform for you. And <laughs> 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 All right, so that's classic Sonic yeah. uh, part done. Now it's time for the Avatar. Yeah. Now I heard a lot of people complaining about this boss fight, and even though it is short, it yeah. actually is pretty good. Yeah. Um, in my opinion. Ah. Because... Go on. Um, the way I like to view it is, yes, they could have had this, you know, they could have had Super Sonic in the game and it'd just be this big boss fight between you and Classic Sonic against Eggman and whoever else. Yeah. Um, but they actually utilize every inch of gameplay that you, you know, you start off with and learn, you know. Yeah. So that's mainly why I like it, because it, it uses what you were taught from, you know, the first few to the uh, every level in the game mm. for this final boss yeah so as you see there i kept the uh the asteroid weapon on because uh, like i said it's my favorite weapon now i did watch chum yeah. zone uh, beat this boss and he actually used the drill and i've mentioned before how broken the drill is and <laughs> like how much health you can take off him. <laughs> oh he destroyed him with the drill and it's like it's like i said it's not a weapon that i was like too fond of well, you know, I, could, I would like to go back on this boss and see, uh, try it with the drill. Like, even oh, yeah. though, like, you know, the, um, the wisp that it's shown there is actually the, um, the asteroid. So, you just gotta wait for him to, uh, slam the ground. So, overall, what, uh, like, did you find this boss fight actually tough? No, 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 no. I mean, there were some parts where I thought it was sort of unnecessary. Um, like, the tag team part was kind of, you know, yeah. tough. But other than that, everything else seemed pretty cool. All right. So this last part coming up here. And um, now, Chumzone uh, mentioned this, actually. And come to think of it, he is actually right. Do you get the vibe of this last part coming up the same as Nega Wisp from Sonic Colors? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mm. mean, this is definitely... 
if it's any kind of reference to any final boss, it's got to be Nega with Wisp. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. It's, it's nearly it's nearly the same thing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, the only thing is, he doesn't use the the Wisps as yeah. his power source. Mm. So, yeah, this part like it is fairly easy. Yeah, Just um, boosh and home and attack. And I did like how they incorporated all three players into this game. Uh, you know this. Part. Last phase. Yeah. Yeah, just for the the three home and attacks. Yeah. Yeah, and all about also teamwork. The triple boost. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I, I kind of find it hard jumping over them lasers from time to time. But the thing is, the cat ability actually saves me, where it actually holds onto a ring for you when you get hurt. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I chose the cat because of that that little extra. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I think the cap ability actually saved me in this boss fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I did well, use... Like, there. Yeah. I don't know. Um, actually, you know, like I said, I've used Hedgehog, and, like, what happened was, like, yeah, I got hit, but, like, the rings were just scattered about, and, like, didn't have time to pick them all up. Mm. So, I actually... Yeah, I get through this boss, actually, fairly quick. You do... you When you fr play, f like, first time around, you, you learn from it. You know, you know the patterns. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, all the fire burn. some parts, like this part, that kind of confuses me when I go back and play through it. <laughs> yeah. Um, well... I, 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 I did sort of like this final boss. Yeah. That was cool. Like... I like, think the think the read really only thing that uh, people complain about it was classic Sonic's part. You know the perspective, just like with the uh, Egg Dragoon. Yeah. Yeah. So, but overall, yeah, not not a bad final boss. Yeah, like it, it definitely beats um, fucking yeah. um, Time Meter in <laughs> in uh, yeah. Generations. My God, that was yeah. a horrible one. But go uh, on. What were you saying? The one thing that me and my friend always joke about is when uh, Tails is like, "Whoa, Eggman's overclocking the Phantom Ruby." <laughs> my friend, when he was streaming this, he was like, uh, "What's he doing? What's he doing overclocking Phantom Ruby? Playing some sick games?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he uh, pulls out um, the drill as well, kind of like Egg Dragoon there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, I, again, I just have trouble jumping over them la lasers, like. Yeah. Like even when you think you jump over it, you still get hurt by it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's. Just, I guess it's just the way the camera angle is. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, final part. You know, like, do you kind of find this part long in a way as well? You know. Oh yeah, definitely. This boss fight in total, I think, is at least as we're as I'm saying right now, it goes on to be about six to seven minutes. You know. Yeah. Yeah, like, it, it mainly you get the most damage off when you do the triple, um, you know, home attacks there. And here comes the finish. I was <laughs> just mashing the button like crazy. And unlike every other Sonic game, we don't get to see. I mean, um, we don't get to see what happens to Eggman after this. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Also, yeah, he just sort of just like okay, he exploded. <laughs> He's yeah. gone. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, four medals. <laughs> and that, that's actually the, the the void weapon as well. That's actually uh, the the best weapon you can get, really. Yeah, the void yeah. wisp. Yeah. That was Amy Rose's dress right there. Like, I'm going to wear that. Uh. I'm not going to wear that. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. Yeah. The war is over. Everything disappears. Yep. <laughs> Azuruj gets the final kick to Shadow in the face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody stops, you're like, whoa. <laughs> you know it's actually you know it's actually funny, like they have Zavok there, but sadly they couldn't use like the rest of the Deadly Six. You know? Yeah, I think it's because most people didn't really like Deadly Six, so they were just probably like, let's choose the one that they liked the most. <laughs> ah. Uh, I just noticed there, there was a rapid jump in, and it just got me questioning, where the fuck is Cream? Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodbye. Safely, Sonic. And for <laughs> mm. 
And there he goes, classic Sonic. And finally, fist bump. <laughs> One last fist bump. <laughs> oh, Tails really misses him. Cheer up, Tails. I'm sure we'll run into him again. All right, guys. It's time we cleaned up the mess that Eggman left this world in. And I'm not talking about those illusions he dreamed up for us. We need to fix the real world we all live in. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Yeah. So they're all like, oh, we got to clean up all this mess. <laughs> I'm surprised, like, I'm surprised everyone wasn't like, oh, God, there's so much to clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be my reaction. Oh that would be my reaction. It's like, oh my god, this is going to take forever to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, especially the the state that he left the world in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so that actually concludes uh, Sonic Forces. Uh, it took nine uh, videos to uh, get through this game. Um, you know, and it's funny. It's, it's shorter than uh, Generations, I think. Wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely shorter. Well. In a sense, I would say it's shorter than Generations. Yeah, uh, and um, want to give your overall thoughts about this game? Like, we overall have covered a lot. Thoughts. All right, now, one thing I do want to touch up on is a lot of people, when they first saw the ending of Forces, they were like, oh, well, since the Phantom Ruby's gone, mm. then that must mean that classic Sonic from classic, you know, from Mania, that never happened. Yeah. But... As you can see, it clearly had a different effect on how Classic Sonic went away compared to how the Illusions went away. Yeah. So, so I don't think that's entirely true. I don't think that they would have, you know, said, just came out and said that Classic Sonic vaporizing away means that he died, you know? No, no, he's not dead. <laughs> um, he's not dead, and as Sonic stated before, I'm sure we'll see him again, and I hope that doesn't mean that they're planning another modern Sonic and classic Sonic game again. Because <laughs> as much as I like the concept of it, it just feels too overused, and yeah. I don't think it should happen again, really. Mm. No, and um, then you said that you had a theory about, um, you know, classic Sonic when he um, after generations like where he ends up oh yeah um, that theory was um, I feel that classic Sonic and Mania is actually the Mania Sonic or is actually the classic Sonic from generations because when he enters the modern Sonic world he already knows who modern Tails is uh, mainly because you know uh, yeah, when they... probably, it, he looks like Tails, so of course that's going to be like, oh, that's that must be Tails. But he knew who Modern Sonic was, and you know, it, I think it would have had a completely different effect on him, like it did in Generations when they were in the mirror room and Sonic looked in the mirror and saw Classic Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> but... So I think when um, he left Modern Sonic and went back to his universe, it was an alternate timeline where the Phantom Ruby actually existed. Yeah, that's that's actually a fair theory, actually. I can get behind that. I mean, I'm pretty sure someone's already came up with that theory or, you know, tried to come up with that theory. Uh, I mean, it, it's... It's something... A theory is basically something that's shared around a lot, and, I mean, I don't want to claim that I'm the, the developer of that theory, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, so... I want to just go back on something that I remember a friend was saying to me on Facebook about um, bringing in the whole nostalgic factor like over and over again. Like it's got, it's kind of like beating a dead horse if you get me. And one one friend of mine said, uh, you know, they could have done something like they would have done with. Um, I don't know if you played Dragon Ball Z Universe. Uh, well, th basically in Dragon Ball Z Universe, you're playing as a, a, a created character. You're like a time patroller, and you're helping Trunks. Uh, um, you know, go through like different sagas of um, you know Dragon Ball Z, and you're preventing yeah. preventing like um, stuff that didn't happen in the, in them um, in, in them past events. If you get me, because someone is trying to alter the past. Uh. So he was saying to me, you know, if they wanted to play the nostalgia factor, they could have just did a Dragon Ball Z universe kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, that actually reminds me of a, uh, I forgot where it was, but, like, before, you know, Forces was, you know, 
going to be re- it wasn't before you know, like they announced it but it was coming up close to like the uh, the time where they started announcing more stuff for forces um, this person came out saying and you know whenever someone sees a rumor online they believe it's it it's more than likely almost true yeah because it, it, it happens all the time like um, a few years ago it, before forces was even announced someone predicted the entire you know you know, almost basic story of forces. <laughs> but um, this one was focused around uh, Silver, and Silver was actually going to be playable in forces. And they were like, oh, yeah, you're going to play as Silver, and you're in an alternate timeline where Eggman took over, and you have to save that alternate timeline. But, I mean, even though it didn't happen, I I, I still would have been up for it. <laughs> yeah, that would actually sound interesting in a way as well. And... Um... No, overall, this game, uh, you know, like I said in the beginning, I was like in two minds about where or not to be uh, recording this. I, like I said, a reason because, uh, oh, like I had so many friends playing this, you know, like it, it would just get tired, you know, people would be viewing <laughs> like the same thing, you know. Um, <clears throat> and also, I wasn't as hyped for this game as I was for Mania, so like that was another reason why I had second thought about it. But in the end, I just decided maybe, maybe just, you know, uh, record us and you know and again just uh, want to thank you for uh, coming over and uh, doing this uh, as a collab as well you know oh, no it's no problem man <laughs> yeah and again um, you know congrats on gaining 1000 subscribers you're you're doing very well on your channel you, you, you I think you really you have found your foot and you're you're really getting there like I said to you you're on you're nearly uh, so on par with uh, chum zone in terms of subscribers <laughs> well, thank you. Um, uh, I mean, uh, again, there's been a lot of influences for what I want to do, and mm. I think pushing my channel into this re- direction has really, you know, shined light on you know the topic of maybe becoming an intern over at Sega yeah. more than likely than what I already had originally. Planned, so. Yeah, no, I'm proud of you, man. Like, like I said, it hasn't been long ago since we were on the uh, same level um, on our channel uh, when we did the Crash of Insanity Let's Play. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, like that. That was about. I can't even remember how long it was, but yeah. it surely felt like yesterday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. But no, as, as well, guys. Um, if you haven't checked out uh, Dave Ace's channel, it'll be um, in the description. Also, it'll be in the end screen of um, of the video as well. You know. Uh, that I put up on my videos, um, yeah. Feel free to check them out if you like. If you're into uh, Sonic content um, in general, you know, I, I suggest yeah. looking up Dave Ace. And maybe later on down the road, start reaching higher numbers or something. I might stray away from Sonic content. It, it just yeah. depends on how I'm feeling because there can get to a point to where you know you've played too much of one thing and you want to see something different. Yeah, um, I somewhat agree with that, but like, if if you're, I I've no nothing against you know YouTube. It's like you see channels that are like only based on such as uh, Minecraft, Call of Duty, GTA, yeah, definitely. And like, like to me, like you know, if I was to do something like that, I would get bored kind of straight away. So that's why, like, on my channel, I do like multiple different types of games. You know, old school Sega, Sega, Super Nintendo. You know, with, with, with the consoles I own, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Like nothing against. I, I, again, I, I, there's been many starts for YouTube for me, and um, I tried doing those types of videos, and they just weren't getting as much attention, you know. So I, I tried to figure out what I could do, and you know, when I started doing the Sonic Mania mods, and I was just like, why is this doing so much better than you know a a, a normal YouTuber that just you know does a bunch of other gameplays, you mm. know. Mm. Yeah, I know it's um, it, it's it's just I think it just uh, it was perfect timing because, like you said, Sonic Mania was just out and like you know the the modding community were on it, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, they definitely wanted to get their hands on it, um, and I think the main reason Christian Whitehead delayed the game was because of DRM. Yeah, they knew that DRM was going to be on the game, and they were trying their hardest to convince. I think that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to convince Sega not to put DRM on it. But when it finally released, yeah. the the community surely did push that DRM away. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. So I think we're um, nearly um, getting to the end of the credits here. So um, we're actually going to be uh, leaving at that, folks. And uh, I will see you all next time. And Dave, um, have your say there for the end of this video. <laughs> all right. I'll catch you guys later. And if you, again, if you want to see more Sonic content, come feel free to come over to my channel. <laughs> Right, goodbye everyone. As uh, we'll be going into a you know a cutscene here and we'll end it off there. Finally, an end to this endless battle. Everyone can go back home and relax. There's no need for the resistance. Hold on. There's still a lot we need to do. We're just getting started. Hmm. Huh? What? You're leaving us? There are others who need your help. But okay, I'm not gonna stop you. Man, the first time I saw you stumbling around, I had no idea you could pull this thing together and see it to the end. I've changed my mind about you. <laughs> I knew you'd come through, rookie. Mm -hmm. Well... I guess you're not a rookie anymore. You did good out there. It's not like you just waited till the last minute to come in and act all cool, saving the day. <laughs> our battle is done, and our resistance has come to a conclusion. But we'll be friends forever. A single person cannot restore the entire world. We have to work together and make a diligent effort. Yeah. <laughs> Taking off too? I was thinking the same thing. You gonna keep moving forward? No matter what, yeah? You and I aren't so different. Hmm. See you later, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>